Hey, everybody, 47 Mark IV here, back with another episode of Absolute Immersive. All right, so lots of change this episode. Uh, you know, first thing, we're going to have a pack update. You know, I had to do a little bit of work in configs. I had to do a little work in Craft Tweaker, and I added a mod. So we now have COFH's Vanilla Plus Tools. And, you know, if we do uh, this, COFH, right, I left the sickles, the fishing rods, and the shears from that mod in. Uh, you know, the hammer, well, we've got a drill, and I want you to use that. But, man, this sickle is the bomb because I can just do whole areas. And the area that's driving me craziest is above this guy, which you can see I didn't, you know, I didn't move that pump thing. And it did an amazing job all by itself, except for look at this garbage, right? Like even if I were to, uh, you know, vein mine a lot of this stuff, let's see, there we go. Look at all these flowers I'd have to deal with. Well, no more patow, <laughs> just like that. I cannot wait. Like I said, I'm going to asphalt this whole thing. Now we got that all cleaned up, which is cool, right? And if I come in here, excuse me, if I, uh, if I... Boop, there we go, door's open. I moved the excavator. So, you know, we probably don't have enough iron, but is any really enough? And I probably should turn this guy off for a little while since I'll be building. And I'll show you. So the excavator is over this way, you know, follow the train tracks here. You know, I had intended to make this cart teleport, but that doesn't seem to be working really well. So I gotta work on that. Uh, there are teleporting rails, but they don't exactly do what I want them to do. But, you know, I don't mind building the tracks because it's got to be worth it anyways, right? Oh, we just had some guys burn up. So we'll turn this dude off. So over here in this chunk, I moved this guy over and I've got myself a nickel vein, which is like 95% nickel and 5% iron. So might as well go dig that up. And, you know, I'm looking around for more and more stuff. And, yes, I'm going to make myself a room like I said I would. Okay, so first thing I want to do, you know, last episode, we were looking in the book and we saw that fluid great looking thing that, you know, let stuff out into the world, let fluids out into the world. Didn't I just do this? Man, this is what I'm saying. This is why this mod had to come in. Look at all this garbage. Look at it all. Ugh. We're going to pave the world anyway. So, you know, when we were looking at all that stuff, there was this guy right here, the fluid outlet. And, you know, I'm super interested in the fluid outlet. Yeah, because, yeah, right down here, what I think I want to do, what I think I want to do, and I don't think I have enough pipe for it, but, you know, if we got to make more pipe, so be it. Well, I can actually figure this out. So I am on Y level 80, and I'm going to put this thing at Y level 80. All right, there's my water source. So let's get down Y level 80. Eight T. I'm standing on it, so I want the water to that level right there. I think this is what I want. So let's go ahead. We might as well go on up, and we'll drag our crazy-looking pipe over. Uh, let's just, uh, pardon me, excuse me. Let's just see if we can, oop, there we go, build this guy. This is going to be like the derpiest-looking pipe, right? Up and over, and going to come over here because what I want to do, so I'll go right there, is I want to put a pump right here. And I probably need to take that away. Although, you know, I probably could have done that a different way. I probably could have. Uh, let me just think here because the pack's about learning. I probably could have put the pipe in. So let's uh, let's get the pipe here and I'll do it the way I was thinking about it. So I could probably come from the back side and hold shift and say opposite side output. Right. So something like that. And uh, let's see. I'm going to get myself a connector. And a piece of wire. Thank you. I didn't mean to move that around. And man, I got to dump all these flowers. <laughs> That's the only downside. All right. So I've got power right here, but this is actually power coming from the water mills. But you know what? Water mills for water pumps sounds like a good idea. So that should, right? I'm pretty sure the bottom is an input. And this should, oh, is it going to do anything? This should, uh, do you need, do you need clear stuff around you? Like this should pump water and then fill this whole area, right? That is what you should do, right? All these sides are output. And maybe I got to stop and read about this guy, right? Your input. Uh, and, you know, I could tell if this was working if I had a barrel. And I can't see the bottom of this guy. Oh, 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 it's because I need a lever. It's because I need a lever. All right, hold on. 
you know, chickens, shortly you're going to get dealt with, right? Like we're going to get some defenses here and set it such that it takes out passives because I am so tired of the chickens. All right. Now that you're on and I could see you using power there for a second. Oh, look at you. Look at it. Look at it. It's just going to fill this whole valley because, you know, every time I came in here, I always expected this to be a river back here and it wasn't. So it's going to slowly fill this whole thing up to the bridge level with source blocks. And I already went ahead. I can't see it on that end, but I already went ahead and blocked off both ends. Uh, I don't think that's it. I think I was just plugging a hole there. Right. So let's see. Let's come over here. Yeah, it's way down there where I want it. So I always wanted this filled up like a river like that just made sense to me. I had this valley. Ah, that's going to be awesome. I'm half tempted. Woo. I'm half tempted to store fluids in the world with this thing, you know, just make like an open pit for gasoline or something. I think that'd be kind of awesome. All right. So speaking of gasoline, let's go get some. So if I come over here, this is the uh, tank farm. And let's see, are you running? Yes, you are. So I want to make as much biodiesel as I can. Oh, there we go. Put those guys down. So I expanded our tank farm a little bit, and this guy has been pumping away. And let's see. So this is the last tank. They're in series. So let's see. 512. Cool. And then it comes over here. So 512, 512, uh, 512. All right. So there we go. So I got uh, six by five. So I got 3,000 buckets of oil ready to go. So this is going to be the storage you know, drop off area. I think when I get a bunch of fuel, we'll, uh, it will drop it off there. All right. So let's take our box. Oh man, she's heavy. Let's come over here because this is now going to be the refining like area. I think this is where my tank farm is going to go. So maybe right there. Yeah, that'll work because I want to kind of right here ish and we'll probably have to kind of clear it out a little bit. Uh, right here. I want to drop the refinery. Is that what it's called? That doesn't feel right. What's the uh, oil processing stuff called? Because the refinery is the thing that's making biodiesel. Yeah, I think right in there. Uh, do I have the book? Because I'm going to need it anyway. So let's go look this up here. So this is oil processing. It's the distillation tower. That's what it is. Okay, so distillation tower. Uh, you're going to come in here somewhere. So let's throw our toolbox up there. And I'll grab a lot of the parts here. I've already got a bunch of sheet metal on me. So it's probably... It's probably, uh, I don't think it was those barrels. It's probably all of this stuff. Yeah, I feel like I got it. And we're going to need power. Yeah, and oh, and I'm going to need the projector. So let's get the projector and we'll mix these guys up. Oh, I love the distillation tower, right? I think this thing is amazing. So let's see. Uh, do I care where anything is? Let's just take a look here in the book. So when you're done, something is going to be, there's the input. And that really doesn't matter. Power, there's output, and power is on there. Okay, so I'd kind of like that to the left, I guess. And so the, the redstone block right there is the control. Okay, if the redstone block is the control, I'm looking at this corner, or I'm looking at that back corner. I think it's, I think I'm looking at the wrong side of it. Yeah, I think it's turned around. So if that's on the corner facing me, I'm sorry, I just, I want to make sure I get this right. Okay, so I've been staring at this for a little while, and, you know, I think, I think this is the orientation that we want. But you know what? Worst case, not really a big deal, because we can always, always move it around. So let's see. Let's go right here. This thing is enormous to build. Uh, it should be these guys, and I'm pretty sure they stack up. And I'm going to need that in a second. Oh, I guess I didn't have to take that on my hand, because we're going to come. No, no, we're going to come right up here. Right, and uh, let's see, what are you? Sometimes I have a hard time seeing the uh, fuzzy little ghost image, right? Like I'm looking at the block underneath. All right, so you are sheet metal and you're gonna be an enormous tower of sheet metal and you're one of those. And then it's this kind of pattern, like the whole way up. There is one change to it, which should be coming up in a level or two, right? Uh, it's not this one, I think it's the next level. So let's see, let's grab that and let's get this. And then it's this one. Yeah. So this one has sheet metal half slabs. Uh, you know, not the best looking block, honestly. Like I like a lot of them, a lot other blocks better. Let's see, I'll put you over there. Oh yeah, I got the, I got the slabs. And I think it's because they're not, uh, they're not full. I don't know. It's just, a, it's a, like a weird texture. 
I guess on the projection, it's like cut in half. Uh, no, I want my magnet. There we go. I got to climb back up. So this is kind of the pattern. Every couple of floors, we're going to do a half slab. And, you know, I'll finish building up the whole thing. Okay, so I'm going to guess that I must be near the top. That, uh, you know, I'm kind of running out of some blocks to use here. So this has got to be around that height. I mean, I'm up a bunch of layers, so I'm, I don't know, I'm 10, 12 layers up, maybe. I forget what the Y level is here. You know, I know it was 80. Oh, man, it just keeps going. Uh, are you, excuse me, are you the top layer? So then just that pipe. No, it just keeps going. Dude, how tall are you? Uh, are you that tall? Oh, I was going to say, where's my green box? No, it just keeps going. How tall is the tower? There's the green box. There's the green box. All right, so let's see. Scaffolding right here. Uh, are you all the way down? Yeah, you are. So I can use you like a ladder so I don't die. Nice. Nice. Okay, let's get that off the thing. Let's get this guy. Uh, I don't remember where to whack this one, but, you know, around that block is usually good. All right, so let's see what we got. We got power right here. And uh, I think this is about backwards from what I wanted, although... I do have a power pole right there, so I uh, I might not be able to make that. I'm probably going to have to drop in a little sub pole. You're in, and that's okay. And then you're out. Okay, I can deal with that. I totally can deal with that. So let's see. I've got all these dudes on me. So let's do this. Let me get. Uh, I'm going to need. I'm going to need my building tool. And what do I got in here? I got some fences now. Do I have any more? Oh, yeah, yeah, I got fences right there. So let's start our tank farm. Uh, you know what? I'm going to clean up a little bit. Hold on. Okay, so cleaned up just a little bit. Man, I love that sickle. You know, I probably, I think I turned off the Pam's garden spreads, but I might have done that a little too late. So I'm going to get stuff that's going to come out of here, and then I'm going to run it this way. So I think right here is the center line for uh, our new tank farm. So maybe right there, and I want to get these separated right there. And let's see. Oh, I don't. Do I not have fences? Uh, what happened to the fences? I could swear we had these things. Well, I guess I'll grab some out of here. I could swear I had. Uh, I must. You know what? I probably accidentally deleted them while I was deleting all the seeds that I got. Ah, eh, whatever. I mean, we got about a million, uh, you know, pieces of treated lumber. So not a big deal. All right, right there. Okay, so these are the three lines I'm going to need, right? Diesel, gasoline, and lubricant. And, you know, we're going to make tons and tons more of these guys. So, yeah, that should work. And here's what I'm thinking, right? Like, I can route all of these fluids. Let's get the fluid router. I'm going to come out of this guy, and let's get the pipes. So we'll come out of here, and I want to stay right in line with this. Uh, let's see. We'll do kind of like this. Let's stub all these guys. Oh, no, I got to go up to the top. Oh, I got to go up to the top. That's right. This is the exit side. Oh, no, no. Hold on. Hold on. Let's fix this all up. We got to rehammer this guy. Not a big deal, at least now. Uh, why won't you, uh, why won't you hammer? What am I missing off this tank? Am I, did I take something out that shouldn't have been taken out? Oh, no, I put something in that shouldn't have been put in. Okay. All right. There we go. So I got to get those guys pumped up. Well, I'll do that. So you're going to go up there. Uh, you're going to go up there and you're going to go up there. So I'd really like, I'd really like something like this maybe. Uh, yeah. And then I'll take out this one block and, you know, we'll put in, I'll put in this guy. And then we can do something like this, that, uh, this is going to be kind of hard to see. Well, let's take, uh, let's take diesel I'm just trying to think here. Let's take diesel and let's put diesel on this lane right here because I can spread across. I think that makes a good sense. So this side here is red. So I can come into this guy and I should be able to say diesel and get you and do one of those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That totally works. And then over here. So you're going to be gasoline on the yellow. Okay. So let's do the same thing. Let's get uh, gasolina and you'll be the yellow. And so if you were that, you're this, and then the final line, oh, I can't type. The final line is gonna be lubricant, so right there, and that should be that. All right, so then I gotta hook those guys up and give this dude some power. Okay, so those guys are piped up, 
And we could probably power it up, right? Yeah, that's the spot. So we'll put one of those there. And I made myself a little stubby, which is probably a navigational hazard for me. I probably shouldn't do that, but I'm going to. And I went back and I got myself some levers because I realized I'm going to need these. Uh, I guess I'll put them on this side of the tank for right now. I mean, this will only matter when I'm trying to take stuff out, but there we go. Let's get that done. Uh, let's see, what else do we need to do here? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I need... Uh, well, no, it's in this chest. I need this guy right here. I need this little barrel because this dude spits out some stuff, right? I'm pretty sure that this guy spits out, um, is it slag? I think that's what it is because I'm waiting. I'm waiting to make a bunch of asphalt, right? A bunch of this stuff. And, you know, I can do it. Oh, it's the bitumen. That's what it is. I need all this bitumen to, you know, make tons and tons of asphalt. The rest of this, uh, you know, we got lots of slag. I got lots of sand, like not a big deal. Okay, so that's in. So then it's just, uh, yeah, it's just this pipe here. And I think I think I should bury this guy. Ooh, a little too fast. A little too fast. So I'm going to go this way, right? And I'm just going to just barely put it underneath the surface. And uh, you know what? I can probably just do the first level right here. So let's get this one because, you know, I made the end of the series here. I made it, uh, you know, stop over here. So uh, I just got to move this lever and I put that lever on the other side. Yes, I can. Right. So let's take. Oh, oh don't break the tank. Let's take that off. We'll stick the lever over here. Uh, right. Excuse me. Right there. And, you know, I'll put the piping in from here. And I guess I got to chunk out those couple. Man, this drill is fast. I wish there was speed control on it. That'd be kind of nice, right? And then I can just put this in and we'll take it all the way over. Uh, I'm probably going to have to go one deeper over here. Okay, so I ended up getting all the pipe buried and I've stubbed it up right here. And, you know, we just need to connect this dude up. And it should be just that. Although you say zero IF, but you know, I was afraid that was going to be a problem because I shut off the other generator and a lot of these processes are kind of intensive or it's because I didn't hook this up right here. Okay, not a big deal. Hold on. We'll hook up this wire. Now I have plan A and B here. Okay, so you're running, but I'm really afraid you're going to pull down the power. So I built this dude over here. I mean, we're going to end up having diesel here in a second, right? Like you're coming in. And you're clearly going back out. You should be. Why aren't you showing me? Empty, empty, empty. Right? I do have these correct. Uh, I do have the ports correct, don't I? So you should be. You should be fluid out. You should be fluid out. And then the unmarked one. Right? You should be refining whatever. Uh, I might want to stop and look that up real fast. All right, so I got it all figured out. It was just simply this one requires redstone control, so it needs a lever. Not a big deal. Now, I do want to do a couple of things, so let's see. Let's get some of our hot and fresh diesel out of this guy, and this is just a temporary setup, so we're just going to lay it on the ground and go all crazy with it right there. Cool. Uh, let's make sure the pipe is completely hooked up, so you'll fill with diesel. And do I have, yeah, I got these guys on me. So let's, uh, uh, hello, can I get you up there? And then I want to take it to a capacitor. And you know, uh, no, let's go this way. Let's uh, go into the capacitor. I'm just trying to think this out here. Let's go into the capacitor. And so I'll take you and I guess we'll come out, right? So I'm going to make you out and I'm going to make you uh, oops, missed it. I'm going to make you in. And man, am I making this like a death trap for myself. So you to there, and then you can come into here and help charge the network. And generator's running, right? And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm going to have to put, uh, I'm going to have to put that. And I got a couple of filters on me because, you know, awful, right? And that should work. And then I can put this on here and we'll have redstone control on the generator. So, uh, yeah, let's go around the other side. I made this a nightmare for myself. I should have backed up the tanks a little bit, I guess, but not a big deal. So that should be working, right? That should be draining down. So let's take a look in here. Yeah, so it's making the crude. The crude's going out to gasoline, diesel. And so right now it's filling. There's gasoline. 
it's filling lubricant right now, which is kind of cool because we need that a little bit. And, you know, I can make that dude over there go faster. And I wanted to see a thing. Can I, can I take this automatic lubricator and I built one of these guys and can I just fill it by just clicking on the tank? No, of course not. That's never going to be the way. All right. I got plan B. Plan B is I brought some metal barrels. Oh, and I brought a lubricant can because I just wanted to see what this did. I hadn't played with this one. So let's see, let's take our lubricant and we'll come out and up and over because this tank has to fill from the top and that should work, right? You should be telling me, oh yeah, yeah, there we go, lubricant. So I should be able to fill you? Hmm, how am I gonna fill you now? I assumed that that would work. Uh, let's see, lubricant can, can I? Okay, so I can put that in there, but I can't do, I can't do this. So do you have to be piped? You probably have to be piped and you insert in the top. So let's see. Uh, we're going to let that, you know, let's let that fill up for just a second. Okay, so we got about two buckets, which whatever. That should be close enough. And it tells me, uh, it tells me somewhere in the book here. Let's take a look. Let's go here. And it should be for lubricant or the automatic lubricator. And so blah, 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 right? When collect replaced. Uh, maybe it's just lubricant. Maybe it's this guy. So pump jacks, excavators, and crushers can all be lubricated. So let's go check this out here. We got the pump jack right over here. So let's get out this lubricant can, and I just want to see what it does. Uh, well, that's kind of cool, right? Like, I didn't know. Uh, how long did that take up? No, that looked like it used a bucket or two, right? And then you're showing me a lubricant animation. So you're going, I don't know, like 5% faster. Okay, so it wasn't for long. I just wanted to see. And we've got 5586. Five, and then I can hit you again. And that took, uh, so that took 300 millibuckets. So not a lot by doing it by hand. Okay, that's all right. And you know what? Let's get, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and let's get the automatic lubricator. And so holding it gives me the ghost image. So you need to go right there. And, you know, metal barrel. Hmm. Can I, uh, uh, no, it doesn't appear that I can get up there correctly. All right, so metal barrel, can I do this? And can I take a hammer and say opposite side? Oh, you were already on output. You were already on output and you filled it up. Okay. I mean, it won't last for long, but that should be it. It should be, it should be lubricating. So 2211, and I, I swear I saw a little drippy happen. Yeah, right there. Okay, so it's lubricating. Very cool. All right, so got all of that done. Now I am gonna want, I am gonna want to get one of these guys filled up with gasoline and I can just set that down. Yeah, I want this guy here. Do you have, oh, you're full of gasoline. Well, let's turn our gasoline into something. I actually wanna turn it into a couple of things here. So let's run upstairs, uh, uh, super duper speed. Nice, oh no, I missed it. And here we go. All right, so we now have refined storage up here. So I know I can make a portable generator with this guy. And you know, I'm not that far away, like LV capacitor, cool, and just this generator block. And I could swear, I was gonna say, I swear I had some of those, right? So that right there. And so you run on gasoline, I'm pretty sure, right? You run on gasoline. And so let's take a look here. Uh, generator, right? Isn't there, yeah, portable generator. So gasoline fuel 256 flux a tick. Uh, I don't like that we changed to flux there, uh, but you know, whatever. So it holds 100,000 RF and I could right click fuel into it and powers output directly through LV or MV, no connectors and redstone turns it off. Okay, cool. But that's not really what I wanted out of it is I want myself a boat. I want myself a bad boat, right? We got right here, the motor boat, like, Oh, I can pull this dude right out. So I can get the motorboat and there's a reinforced hull. Uh, it looks like I'm gonna have to go stamp down some steel real fast. Okay, so parts crafting's all done. And I think we just need to come in here and borrow the table. So I've got my motorboat. Oh, and I can only put three things on it. And we have five things. So uh, fire resistant and increase its health. So it could go to the nether. Icebreaker, uh, destroy ice harm mobs, don't care about that. Expanded fuel tank, sure. Maneuvering rudders, okay. And emergency paddles, I can paddle it when I'm out of fuel. 
Uh, am I going to run it out of fuel? Yeah, I probably am. Okay, so let's take those. So I didn't know it was three only. And, oh, I want to show you a thing. So I used the uh, teleport mod here because, you know, I should have a teleport right up here. Like, I think that makes my life a lot easier. All right, so I'm going to have to fill you somehow. How do I fill you? So I probably need, I probably need one of these guys, and I'm carrying it. I probably need one of these guys full of gasoline. Let's see if that's a thing. Can I? No, I can't fill you. Hmm, how do I fill the motorboat? Let me look it up. Ah, so a quick read and a quick craft, and we have ourselves a jerry can. Like, I've never really had a use for this thing, but let's figure it out. So you're the barrel full of gasoline, and I can pick up. Okay, so this is 10 buckets. Well, that's pretty decent, right? That's pretty decent. And, you know, we should have some water to go play on back over here if my uh, river has kind of made itself. I don't know. Let's go take a look. Come on, river. I really want to go down you. Have you filled in? <laughs> no, not at all. Like, this is going to take the entire series. Ah, oh, man, I was so disappointed. Well, I am going to get this thing on a river. Uh, let me get the airship here. Okay, so we're not, you know, it's hugely far from the base, but there's this little river over here. You know, we got to go find the ocean. I haven't found it yet. So let's see, can I, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, the paddles went in. The paddles went in because the motorboat, oh, dude, it doesn't turn worth beans. Uh, okay, hold on. Uh, I got to back it up. It doesn't turn like a regular boat at all. Okay, how does this thing even negotiate? Is this e easier in F5? Like, come on, dude, turn, turn. I did put the uh, extra navigation stuff on here. Okay, this is clearly, is, is, wait, okay. Oh, you can see the little rudders. You can see the little rudders, okay. All right, so this is clearly an ocean boat or maybe the big uh, lava in the nether. Okay, I'm, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. You gotta oversteer it, you gotta drift it. Oh, it's a drifting boat. Okay, you gotta like drift it into the corners. So maybe a river was a uh, poor testing choice because, you know, not exactly a pro. <laughs> so I'm gonna call it here for today. Man, this was a lot of fun. I'm so glad that we got all this stuff. Uh, so I'm 47 Mark IV. This was Absolute Immersive. If you enjoyed the episode, uh, hit the like button, leave me a comment, let me know what you think, and then I will see you in the next episode.